Okay, welcome to our third video on basic equations. And here we're going to mix things up because now it's time to introduce what we do when we have variables on both sides of our equation. So perhaps we can start with something like 4x plus 2 equals 3x plus 4. What do we do? Well, we want to know what x is, right? That's our goal. So we want to get all of the x's to one side, either bring them all to this side or bring them all over here. But before we even talk about that, let's just set a picture up. I think you'll see really what's happening. So four x's, right? One, two, three, four, plus two somethings equals three x's. One, two, three, plus four somethings. Okay, what do we do? Well, you know, this is all about balance. Everything is being balanced here. So if I have three x's over here and four over there, and two coins or whatever over here and four over there, let's take stuff away until we have exactly what we need. Why don't I start by taking these two coins away? Sometimes it's a good idea to start with just numbers and leave the coefficients, right? These coefficients and these variables alone. Sometimes that makes sense. I think this is one of those cases. So if I take two of these coins away over here, I have to do the same thing over here. I want to keep everything balanced. And now I have the same equation, right? The same relationship, I should say, sorry. But, right, some things are gone, and that helps us out. Now, if I have four x's over here and three over there, why don't I just take these three x's away from this side and do the same thing over here? Just get rid of them. Because now it's left over. Well, here we have an x, and here we have two. So in this case, x is just going to equal two. Now we can model that right here. So we'll do that over again, but write it as maybe we would do on a test or on a shorthand instead of drawing out this whole picture. The first thing we do is take 2 away from both sides. And then we draw a little line to rewrite. Right? 4x, well, plus 2 minus 2 is just 0. So now on this side of the equation, we just have 4x. That's going to equal 3x plus something. Well, positive 4 minus 2 is just 2. Or 4 minus 2, really. Right? That's all it's saying. That's 2. Then, right, let's write it up here. 4x equals 3x plus 2. Now, the instinct so far, if you see 3 times x, was to use division. But look at this. I mean, really, this means you have 3 x's over here. So take them away. right? Get that 3 and that x out of there. But then do that to both sides. 3x minus itself is 0. And all we have left over, like we did in our picture, are these two coins. And then we have four x's, and we took three away. And that means, well, there's one x left. And then we get our answer, x equals two. So, I mean, just to backtrack, if you have x's on both sides, it's not a big deal. Try to simplify by getting numbers on one side. Right? It, it was really advantageous to take this two away from here, because it got rid of all the numbers on this side of the equation. And now we only have uh, numbers over here, or I should say constants. Right? We call this a constant term because it has no variable attached to it. So the constants are pushed to one side here, and the variables are pushed to the other. And that allows us to read a simple answer. And that idea carries to, to all the problems we're going to do in, these, in this series of videos. I mean, for example, even if I change it up, right? if I have 4x plus 2 equals 2x plus 5, we want to get the constant terms to one side and the coefficients and variables to the other. And then eventually just the variables on one side and then the coefficients and, and the constants on the other. We want to separate these things. So let's make a picture of this. Four x's over here. One, two, three, four. And two x's on the other side. In between, of course, we have our equal sign. And then what do we have? Well, we have two of something. And then we have 5 of something over here. So the same basic principle, we're going to take these two away. 
when I do it from both sides, this gives a different or simpler equation, but with the same relationship because it's still balanced. Right? Imagine initially everything was balanced, everything is equal. Well, take some from the side, do the same thing here. And now we have 3 plus 2x's is equal to 4x. So take these 2x's away from here, do the same thing here, and now we have a nice equation to work with. We have 2x's, right, x and x, equals 3, something. What does that mean? Well, we want to divide both sides by 2 now into two equal groups. Because here, each group is x, and we want to know what x is. So we divide three things in two groups. Well, that's one and a half, right? One and a half here, and one and a half there. So we divide both sides by two, and we're, we're set up with our answer now. Here we have a half, one and a half, and here we have one and a half. So x is equal to one and a half. But you're probably not going to be drawing pictures all the time. Here, it's just much quicker. Subtract 2 from both sides, just like we did by crossing out these two from both sides. And then rewrite it. So now we have 4x over here. 2 minus 2 is gone. That's 0. Here we have 2x. And then, well, 5 minus 2 is just 3. And then what do we do? Well, we have 4x is on one side, 2x is and 3 something on the other side. So we subtract 2x from both sides. And again, this is helpful because look, it gets our variables all on one side, right, with our coefficients and the constants on the other. And now we want to get this constant out of here. We divide, excuse me, get this coefficient out of here. We divide by 2 and do it to both sides. 3 over 2, well, that's just 1 and a half, right? 2 goes into 3 once, and there's 1 left over, or 1 out of 2 left over. And that is 1 and a half. So this picture does match our steps right here, um, but I really want us to work towards this. And I think you'll really start to appreciate algebra a lot more if you can get the hang of the way we're setting up the equations here. All right, I hope that helps.